one such privilege of a witness someone to appear before a court is that such a witness cannot be asked or if asked cannot be compelled to answer any question that is not relevant to the matter before the court. I listened, Madam Chair, to the questioning of Mr. Duncan, I believe it was, this morning. I had a quick look at the evidence that Mr. Talbert Brackett gave, and it is clear, Mr. Weyhoff, having been in a previous life the Commissioner of Lands, it is clear that the committee proposes to ask him the sorts of questions that were put to Mr. Duncan and to Mr. Brackett. That is, questions about land that the government, his minister at the time, Honorable Pat, who is also to be a witness before you, land that the ministry and perhaps the minister sold to various individuals and entities. At a time, I believe, that was actually before the signing of the definitive agreement into which you are inquiring. With respect, Chair and Senators, I do not see how on earth that line of questioning is encompassed by the motion setting up this committee and by your terms of reference. Let me cut straight to the chase. I wish you to allow me to go through the terms of reference the motion, first of all, some of the recitals, and the terms of reference, after which I will submit to you that Mr. Vallejos is, I want to frame it carefully, is not obliged to answer any question along those lines that you may want to put. Let me frame it another way. The committee is not, is not authorized, is not entitled to ask the witness any such questions. You are bound by the terms of reference. You must stay clearly within the four corners of those terms of reference. And if we go through the recitals, the motion, and the terms of reference, I believe, Madam Chair, that you will have to agree with me that questions about land transfers or land sales in an area that, as I understand it, is within two miles of the locus of the site of the portico cruise project. Those questions have nothing to do with the inquiry on which you are embarked.